Hey guys, it's your dark girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm very excited kasi puro iOS devices or Apple or iPhone devices yung pag-uusapan natin. I have here the iPhone. We also have the iPhone 4S. We also have the iPhone 5. iPhone 5S. iPhone 6 iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10, and lastly, the iPhone 10s Max. So, we have like a generation of iPhones here, guys. Sobrang dami. Ang dami na pala talagang iPhones ang nakalipas. Sorry guys, wala ako nung iPhone 3G or iPhone 2G. Wala talaga, hindi ko na sila mahanap. But anyway, at least, kahit pa paano, nakompleto natin sila right now. Before we proceed to the video guys, bago natin sila lahat talaga pag-usapan, I would like to remind all of you na malapit na pong matapos yung ating ongoing giveaway. At I think we have like 4 or 3 na sa lagay, na sa lagay, ilalagay ko na lang pong link lahat sa baba para maka-join kayo. And then after nun, abang kayo ulit for another giveaway kasi hindi tayo nauubusan guys. Ganun ko kayo kamahal. Anyway, going back to this iPhones guys, akalain nyo yun. Ang dami ng iPhones ang nakalipas. Every year talaga, nag upgrade or may bagong iPhone. Hindi yan makawala. Every September, every October, minsan din. And sometimes, guys, alam ko, ang hirap na talaga minsan makasunod sa mga bagong iPhone devices. Kasi pamahal na sila ng pamahal. But, ayun, on this video, I'm going to be discussing kung worth it pa ba bumili ng ganitong klase ng iPhone. At, kung pwede ba siyang i-upgrade on September this year 2019 guys ng iOS 13. So kung naka iPhone 5S ka, kung naka iPhone SE ka, dapat nyo nga ba siyang i-upgrade or pwede pa ba kayong mag-upgrade ng iOS 13 or maybe you're still planning on buying the iPhone 6. Kung bibili kayo ng iPhone 6, alam ko niya nagbebenta si Apple noon. Pero kung bibili kayo sa mga nagre-reseller, alam niyo na dyan, sa mga nagbebenta ng second hand, dapat pa ba kayong bumili? At meron pa rin ba siya? Or mag upgrade ba siya into iOS 13 this coming September? Nahin natin guys si iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. Taas ng kamay ng mga nakaabot kay iPhone 4 or iPhone 4S. Ako nagkaroon ako na to. Nagkaroon obviously kasi meron ako right now na itago pa natin. So we have here the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S. I still remember those days guys. Grabe, having a square iPhone or smartphone, iba, iba sa feeling. Tapos ngayon, curved na yung edges natin and so on. Iba-iba na talaga. But these two guys, one year yung gap nila. Next, we have the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. Slightly similar ng design ki iPhone 4 and iPhone 4 as medyo bigger screen nga lang. Si iPhone 5 guys, nirelease siya nung September 2012. While si iPhone 5S naman guys, nirelease siya nung September 20, 2013. So, one year din yung gap nila. Next naman, we have the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. The reason why may sticker siya nakalagay battery. Kasi sira na po yung battery niya. Yes, guys, some of these phones are not working anymore. Pero at least diba, naitago natin. And some are still working. Mas marami naman yung gumagana kaysa sa hindi gumagana. But ayun, guys, nilagyan ko siya nito kasi ayokong uh, makalimutan ko kung ano yung problema niya. At kung naalala nyo, guys, nung nirelease sa iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, ang daming bend test na lababas kaliwa at kanan. Kasi nga, yun talaga yung number one problema sa kanya. iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus, guys, nirelease siya nung September 2014. Si iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus, guys, sabay silang nirelease noong September 2015. And guys, ito yung pinaka-last iPhone device na merong headphone jack. Yes, guys, the memories of having a headphone jack. Last natin silang nakita kay 6S and 6S Plus. Anyway, nakamove on naman ako, guys, sa pagkawala ng headphone jack. So, now we have the iPhone 7 Plus. Wala po akong iPhone 7, but at least we have here the 7 Plus. May kita nyo, guys, sira na yung camera niya, natanggal na siya. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, but this phone is still working. By the way, bago na-release si iPhone 7 Plus, na-release si iPhone SE noong March 31, 2016. Wala akong iPhone SE na ngayon, guys. But, 
meron tayong iPhone 7 Plus. Same year, 2016 din. iPhone 8 Plus, guys, September 2017 naman siya ni-release. Next is we have the iPhone 10, November 2017 siya ni-release. And then next, we have the iPhone 10 S Max. Last year lang siya ni-release. And we're down to this year. So, ng araw, guys, baka bukas makalawa, may iPhone 11 na tayo na ina-unbox dito sa studio natin. Ganun kabilis ang araw, guys. Anyway, ang topic talaga natin, guys, on this video is the upcoming iOS 13 na i-release this September. So, kabilang ka nga ba dapat sa dapat mag-update? So, ayun, guys, if the device that you are using right now is the iPhone SE, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 7 Plus, or even the iPhone 7, iPhone 8 Plus, or even the iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone XS Max, or even the iPhone XS, or even the iPhone XR, pwedeng-pwede kayong mag-upgrade into iOS 13 this coming, or this upcoming September. But if the device that you are using right now, or you're planning to buy in the future, or ngayon, talaga lang babala kayong bumili na ngayon ng cellphone na to, like we have the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, baka hindi na kayo makapag-upgrade into iOS 13. Okay, sa mga hindi aware, may bago tayong iOS 13 na lalabas this September. So, pwede nyo nang i-update yung phone nyo kung kailan man i-announce ni Apple. Usually, after ng release yan ng iPhone 11 nila. So, bakit ko nga ba guys nasabi na yung mga iPhone SE devices pataas, iPhone 6S Plus pataas, or iPhone 6S devices pataas, up to iPhone 10R. bakit sila lang yung magkakaroon ng iOS 13. If you will check the iOS 13 beta, ano nga ba, or wait lang, baka naguguluhan kayo, ano nga ba yung iOS or beta, or iOS beta. Yung Apple beta software program, guys, it lets the users like me, or even kayo, guys, ordinary iPhone user, to try out the pre-release software. So, bakit may Apple beta software program? Kasi, for example, na-try natin ng mas maaga, before September, yung bagong iOS 13, at least, tayo as a consumer, kung may problema naman tayo, kung may mga bugs, kung may mga um, ayaw tayo na pwede pang baguhin at pwede pa nating sabihin sa Apple. Or basically, yung feedback natin doon sa software. Well, obviously, the beta guys, hindi naman siya yung 100%. Yun na yung iOS 13 talaga. Maraming kulang pa doon. Pero, nandun yung idea. So, kung may mga concerns tayo or feedbacks, pwede nating masabi agad. So, medyo magagawa nila ng paraan. iOS 13, guys, a lot of things will change. It's a big iOS redesign. So, ano nga ba yung mga major changes once now we upgrade or update our phone into iOS 13? Unang-una sa lahat, guys, the dark mode. The dark mode, guys, this is not really new, especially to the Android users. Okay lang yon Ako, I experience using the dark mode many times already. But, to some iPhone users, iOS users, ako, iOS user pa rin ako right now. For me, it's a big deal, guys. And sabi nila, 30% faster Face ID unlock, 2 times faster app launches. Sana totoo rin yun. And eto pa sa mga hilig mag-edit dyan, yung Photos app, yung mga photos nyo doon, pwede nyo nang i-edit without using na the third-party apps like Lightroom, Facetune. At sa mga may AirPods dyan, you can listen to the same audio or same music. For example, may friend ka together and you want to listen to the same music or to the same movie na nanonood kayo para as kayo may AirPods. Pwede nyo na silang i-connect ng sabay sa isang device for as long as naka-iOS 13 siya. So, and guys, yun lang yung mga major changes pero marami pa, I swear. Maraming bago kay iOS 13. And I think around September 17 yung release na iOS 13 kung hindi man September 19, September 18, usually kasi ganun naman yung date. Pero what will happen nga ba, especially to those people who are still using the iPhone 6 Plus pababa, like iPhone 5S, iPhone 5, iPhone 6, iPhone 4S, kapag hindi na tuluyang nag update yung phone nyo guys, it will accumulate unfixed bugs, security issues, madalas na rin magkahang yan. So ayun guys, I'm very excited for the upcoming iPhone 11 this September. Ang daming phones na lalabas pa actually bago matapan yung taon. Pero sa iPhone 11 ako talaga pinaka-curious. Pawis na ako. Sobrang init. Tiis ganda tayo dito sa hoodie. But anyway guys, I hope you really did enjoy this video. But don't forget to join the ongoing giveaway. Guys, sayang yung chance. Mag-join na kayo. Lalagay kayo yung link sa baba. And then after nun, after ko announce I think this week na yun or next week, meron tayong another giveaway. Bye guys! Again, it's your tech girl Mary. See you on my next video.